The next step in this project is going to be painting the background. So we're gonna split this up so that we have a table for the vase to be sitting on. So you'll need to make a horizontal line behind your vase. So that means you start a line, stop it when it hits your vase, and it's kind of like I float my pencil above the vase so I know where to make my other line. If you wanna use a ruler, you can, but just make sure you do not make a line through your vase. You don't want that line to be way down low or below your vase, otherwise the vase will look like it's floating on the table and not sitting on the table. So everything under this line will be painted a brown for the table, and then everything above will be painted a background color. So you'll wanna work around your vase. We're not actually painting the vase today, we're going to use a different technique to do that. So you want to start by painting your table area. So for that, you're going to be using some watercolor paint, the pan watercolor. We're gonna be using two different watercolor paints today. We're going to be using some liquid watercolor and some of our regular watercolor pans. So your brush needs to be nice and wet and you'll need to wake up that brown watercolor by getting a nice puddle inside and then making sure that it is wet using your brush nicely, gliding across your paper, trying to stay in that line the best you can. And if it goes into your vase, that's okay because we will paint over it next week. Now for the watercolor part, you are going to get to choose your color. So I'll let you know all the color choices that we have. I am using a blue violet, and this is already liquid, so you do not have to add any water to your brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this entire thing with this liquid watercolor.